Good Erev Shabbos to you, and I hope you're all well. Happy Friday, everybody. Mazel this week. I think think Mazel this week. Okay, so Mazel firstly to Karen and Vivian Emmanuel on Itai's Bar Mitzvah. Mazel And to the grandparents, Judy and Stephen Robertson. Mazel And Mazel to Rebecca and Dan Fox on Ella's Bar Mitzvah. Mazel And Mazel to Rebecca and Michael Livingston on the birth of their daughter. Mazel And to Louise and Sam Shook on the birth of their son. Mazel And to anybody else who's celebrating a birthday, anniversary or any other simcha in the coming week. We wish for full shalim to anybody who's unwell. And we wish long life to Justin Kett on the sad passing of his mother, Melinda, and to all the family. And to anybody who's observing in God's in the coming, we wish Arif Hashanim long life. Uh, shout outs this week? Shout out? Yes, I have a shout out. Someone's asked me to give a special shout out to Gilad Goodman on his oh. 50th birthday oh. this Monday. Oh, that's Gilad. And Happy birthday. Week? Okay, yes, Shabbos times this week. So Shabbos times this week. Shabbat begins and candle lighting is at 4.14. Wow, 4.15. Right, what so happened? Early. Oh, the clock's changed. Mm-hmm. Uh, Friday night at Croxdale, Yavana and L Street is all at 4.14. And there's gingerbread story time. Yay. It's back, which Excellent. is really lovely. Uh, Shabbat morning, Shacharit at Croxdale and Yavna and Limud is all at 9.30. And Mincha is after Kiddush. Uh, later on, on Shabbat at 5 p.m., there's a shir with special guest speaker Rabbi Joseph Tweck, the senior rabbi of the Spanish and Portuguese Sephardi commun- community of the UK. It's a real honor to have him. Very so he'll be speaking at 5 at Croxdale. And Mariv is at 5.16 at Yavna and Croxdale. And that is when Shabbat ends. When does Shabbat end at 5.16? 5.16. Okay, there are lots of things coming up in the next week or so. Um, next Shabbat, we've got a very special guest also. Yes, next Shabbat, we've got Shabbat with Fleur Hassan Nachum, who is the Deputy Mayor of Jerusalem. And she's an Israeli politician and policymaker in charge of foreign relations, international economic development and tourism. And I'm sure it'll be a really great opportunity to hear from her, yeah. especially with the recent uh, elections. Right, there's going to be another opportunity to hear her over that Shabbat. So please come along next Shabbat as well. The more details will 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 be to follow for yes. those talks and locations. That's right. And uh, next week, also starting next week, is BASE. BASE is back, bringing in, beginning after Shabbat every week. That is for primary school children, starting the 12th of November at Croxdale. That's where sons and mums and... Sons and mums, yes. And daughters and fathers learn together. Uh, or, uh, whichever all family, order. All family whichever members. Order. Any family Whoever members. To come. You can bring along any of your homework and learn together. It's great fun. There's going to be nosh. There's a raffle. There are prizes. prizes Lots yeah. of fun. That's next week starting at 5.45 until 6.30. And, uh, and then on the 26th of November, there is an empty Nestor's Shabbat lunch that's taking place at Croxdale. Uh, all details are on social media and the website. It's for parents or grandparents with children who have flown the nest. Lucky. Sounds very, very nice. Okay, and lunch and learn. And then lunch and learn is on Monday, 28th of November. It's back and there's a special guest speaker for that as well. Joanne Greenaway, the CEO of LSJS. It's called of, my, of iPhones, key cards and microphones. The great Shabbat electricity debate. It's a free Chinese lunch, but please book for catering purposes. And just to repeat the date, that's the 28th of November, 12.30. Everybody, okay, Everybody how about, welcome. How about a thought for Shabbat? A thought for Shabbat. So in this week's Parsha, having entered an eternal covenant with Hashem, Avraham's name is changed to Avraham and Sarai becomes Sarah. This change represents their newly elevated status with Avraham becoming the father of a multitude of nations and Sarah as princess to all the nations. Previously, the Torah refers to Sarah by another name, Yiska. Rashi explains it's from a root meaning to see or to look because she could see the future by divine inspiration and because everybody looked at her beauty. This highlights for us the significance of a person's name as a reflection of their essence. From a young age, Sarah clearly had tremendous potential and her name changes to signify that. Throughout her life, she utilised her inherent abilities to the fullest to become the first of the matriarchs and an inspiration for us all. Oh, what a beautiful idea. Thank you very much. Wishing you all a good Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.